everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we will be creating piano app in Scratch 3.2. So now let's get started. So you can take this costume from the link in the description like this key pressed and not pressed, the white keys, the black key pressed and not pressed and these buttons like the record, stop recording button, play button and change instrument button. Now let's start with the code of the white keys. When the flag is clicked, we'll go to motions, go to X and Y respective positions, switch costume to costume 1. We'll go to controls and we'll take the block forever, F block. We'll go to sensing and we'll take the block, key, A pressed, switch costume to costume 2, play note 60 for 0.25 beats, switch costume back to costume 1. Now we'll go to controls and we'll take the block if else. If touching mouse pointer, then switch costume to costume 2, else switch costume to costume 1. Now we'll go to events and we'll take the block. When this sprite is clicked, we'll go to music section and we'll take play note 60 for 0.25 beats. Now we'll drag and drop this code to the second white key. Clean up the blocks. Again drag and drop to the third one. Clean up the blocks. Now we'll change the values like the play note to 62 and to 64 this time. And also the key pressed to S and D. Same for F, G, H, J, K, L, Z, X, C, V, B. Now for the black keys, we'll drag and drop this white key code, clean up the blocks and we'll code then, we'll change the values to Q, drag and drop again to the second one, change up the values by cleaning up the blocks, this time to W and we'll change the play note 2 to 66. Now the same for other black keys. Now we'll code a change instrument button. When this sprite is clicked, we'll go to controls and we'll take a fills block. We'll go to operators and we'll take the list in sign. Now we'll make a new variable named instrument. If instrument less than 22, then change instrument by 1, set instrument back to 1. When the flag is clicked, set instrument to 1, that means the piano instrument. Now we'll add some code in the white keys. Set instrument to the instrument variable. Same for the others, like the second white key, set instrument to instrument variable, like this, inside the forever loop. Same for the black keys, like this, and now we'll code back on the record button. We'll make a new variable again. Recording song question mark. It asks a question. Is it recording song or not? When the flag is clicked, set recording song to no. We'll go to looks and we'll take the switch costume to record. We'll go to controls and we'll take forever if else block. If touching mouse pointer then if block to if blocks we'll go to operators and we'll take the equals to sign in the first cell of the equals to sign we'll go to looks and we'll take the costume number block costume number equals to two duplicate this code to costume number equals to two now we'll put them in the if blocks inside the if blocks we'll go to the motions and we'll take say record duplicate this Instead of say record, this time we'll say stop recording. Yes. This time duplicate it again and this time we'll put it in the else block. So we'll put it as black. Now we'll code more by going to events and we'll take when this sprite is clicked. We'll go to controls and we'll take the block. 
refills block. We'll go to operators and we'll take the equals to sign. After that, we'll go to looks and we'll take costume number equals to one. Then we'll make a new list song recording that will record a song notes in it. If costume number one equals then switch costume to costume number one delete all of song recording set song recording to yes switch costume back to costume record now we'll code the play button when the flag is clicked forever is fells block if touching mouse pointer then say play else say blank now we'll make a new variable named present key question mark that means it asks the present key when the flag is clicked set present key to blank then we'll go to events and we'll take when the sprite is clicked set present key to one we'll go to the music section and we'll take set instrument to instrument after that we'll go to controls repeat block and then from the list section we'll take item repeat length of song recording play note 60 for 0.25 beats instead of 60 we'll take the item block like this and instead of one present key play note item present key of song recording and now we'll make a new variable named volume to control the volume we'll make it a slider readout yes and now we'll code something for the slider readout volume set volume percentage to volume same for the black and the white keys so we'll take an if block we'll go to operators and we'll take the equals to sign we'll go to variables and recording song equals to yes then add the note we are playing for this key that means 60 to song recording we'll do the same for white and the black keys and put it here yes If you like the project, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. For more such videos, don't forget to put the notification bell on. Bye, meet you next time.